All right, so another shit speaker video. Let's see what we can do to this speaker in today's video and if we can improve it or not. Today I'm going to be putting passive radiators in the side that are definitely way, way too small, which means I'm gonna have to seal up the entire enclosure, chuck them in, hopefully seal them up as well. It's gonna involve a lot of silicon, a lot of drilling, a lot of fitting, and it's probably gonna make the speaker worse. But who really cares, because isn't that the whole point of shit speaker? We're gonna see what we can do to this thing just throwing experiments at it. It's already got four different brands of drivers in it. Let's just see what we can do to it. So what we're gonna do now is mark out some holes for these little passive radiators. There's one there, one there, and two of them just there. And what we're gonna do is then see how they fit in the box once I cut the holes out and we'll see if we can make them work and seal this box right up. So if you're interested in that, Chuck a like on the video before it gets started and let's go and make those modifications. Also conveniently enough for me, this drink bottle right here, the base of it is the exact right cutout dimensions for these woofers. So I literally just need to sit this on the cabinet, trace around the bottom of it, and then we'll have the perfect cutout. So I'm gonna quickly do that. I'm not really gonna measure out where they're going. I'm just gonna sort of stick them all around the box and uh, yes, let's uh, put passive radiators in. All right, so I'm thinking I'm gonna put all four on this side Roughly about there, one there, one over here, and then one over there. So let's do that right now. Let's go sit the drink bottle down and trace around it. All right, so I now have four really poorly marked holes on it. I think one thing I should really do, although I don't really want to be bothered, is have to check behind those holes to make sure I'm not gonna drill into anything important, especially the backs of these speakers on the front. So I'm just gonna quickly check inside the enclosure and then we'll begin the cutting. All right, so I've now removed and checked all of the drivers in here and unfortunately I can't actually detach these two speakers here from the box because there is a wire soldered between both speakers which means I can't remove it without unsoldering it and I really can't be bothered unsoldering but one other thing I fear I think that I'm actually going to do to this box as well on that right channel with those two woofers I'm going to wire a wire in parallel with the output terminals and wire it up to the output terminal on the back of the actual speaker which used to be the input terminal but at the moment is connected to nothing and what that's going to be able to be used for is say at a later date, I decide that these Pioneer speakers here should be hooked up to this thing. I can plug it straight into the back and I have those speakers kicking as well, uh, just using the internal amplifier that's already built in there. That thing is under so much stress and load already and for a free amp I got off eBay, I really couldn't care less about it. So we're just gonna keep abusing the crap out of it. But anyway, now that I've done that, we're just gonna quickly add some silicon to the back of this woofer down here and then we're gonna go outside and cut those four holes on top. One other thing I'm gonna to have to do as well with that silicon is seal all of the drivers in place because you can't have any air leaks when you're using passive radiators. All right, so I've got my cheap silicon sealant here. Now this isn't by any means sponsored at all. The only reason I like this one is this right here, highly flexible. You need it to be highly flexible, especially if you're using it on a surround because that thing is moving so much it needs to be able to flex. And I found that this stuff seems to bond quite well to the rubber surrounds and foam surrounds. So that's what I use. Uh, again, not sponsored by this company at all, but just make sure if you're gonna get a, sil a silicon sealant like this, it is definitely highly flexible because you need it to. You can't have it be stiff, uh, otherwise you'll probably just rip another hole. All right, so I'm just gonna apply a generous amount to my finger and then I'm just gonna stick it in there and that sounds really bad. One thing too to be very careful of, I just found out the hard way, that is it, of course skin just there. The insides of the baskets are often quite stiff and sharp, so just watch you don't cut yourself like I just did there. Another thing as well, I love to cover as much surface area as I can. I try to keep it about a millimeter thick, but I try and cover at least an inch around or sometimes two inches around it, uh, just to give me maximum surface area so it bonds to it very, very well. All right, so the woofer is now covered in silicon. We can see some of it's come through on the front here, which means that I have covered it absolutely perfectly. Now what I'm gonna do is go and take this box outside, grab the jigsaw, which I think is on its way out at the moment, so it's gonna make this quite hard, but we're gonna cut these holes in top now and hopefully get a really good result. Filming on my phone because I left my camera inside and a shit speaker calls for a shit video and I can't be bothered going to get it. Holes are drilled. Now let's use the jigsaw and cut out the holes. Perfectly round hole, no. Perfectly round enough, yes. And now all the holes are cut. If I keep doing this though, there's literally gonna be no wood left. Uh, that looks funny though. And now I use my $30 home brand.
All right, so I missed a whole bunch of it on video, but it was very boring just drilling holes and putting in screws. But here we are with the final product. I've got the passive radiators inside the box and man, oh man, does it sound different. Maybe not quite as good actually, but it looks so much cooler in the process. So what I'm going to do now is just chuck a couple songs on real quick and we'll just be able to watch some excursion through all of the drivers that are now running. <laughs> And there we are, another video on Shit Speaker. If you guys have enjoyed this video, chuck a like on it. If you haven't already, subscribe to my channel down below. Follow me on Instagram at Doublesome. And with that being said, guys, I will catch you in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this one. I've added four passive radiators. Let me know what I should be doing next. But with that being said, guys, I will see you in the next one.